Hey there, BTP fans. Brett here and uh, James. He didn't do it right, did he? <laughs> hey, hey, BTP fans. Um, we're here to talk Closer. to you about um, <laughs> free blades. And uh, for those of you who don't know free, what free blades is, it is a game put out by DGS uh, DGS Games. Um, this is it here. It is a fantasy um, skirmish level tabletop game um, with a lot of elements of uh, RPG thrown in. So as you play different games, your characters can level up and get experience and get better. Um, it's awesome. awesome. Yeah, so we have some a few things we want to show you here, and uh, just as a brief introduction into the world of Free Blades. Awesome. So what do we have first, Brett? All right, so first let's go, well, obviously we'll, have, we'll do the rule book, okay? Okay. The rule book is awesome. You have um, X amount of pages of um, fluff and background on the world of Free Blades. Currently there are four playable factions. Um, I believe they have a total of 14, if I'm not mistaken, that they um, are, are planning on expanding to. Um, the rest of the book goes over um, movement or basics of the games, movement, morale, uh, shooting, melee, items, magic, all this stuff, abilities. Each, each character has different abilities. It's really exciting. And then awesome. the next portion actually talks about the different um, bands, uh, as they're called, free bands. Um, Ooh, hey, there we go. That's Black Rose Bandits. That's mine. Yeah, there we go. Um, it talks about individual models, their stats, their abilities um, for the four initial factions. Um, and uh, so we actually have three of the factions here that we're going to show you. Um, okay. And then uh, we'll show you the, the different accessories for the game. Awesome. Awesome. So we've got three factions on the board to show you. First is the Black Rose Bandits. This is the, the band, the free band that I use. These ones weren't actually painted up by me. Mine, mine are actually at my house. These are painted up by John here. Um, he did an amazing job. Now, in a free blaze game, you have your leader, and then you have other models that can be leaders. Uh, leadership types. Uh, in this case, this is a sorcerer. She can cast some spells and stuff and do some really cool things. You've got this guy here, the headhunter, that uh, when he kills things, he gets crazier. He's kind of like a berserker type, that sort of thing. Um, so it's not just humans. So you have some other kind of races mixed in there. Um, they do have uh, the trillions, which we don't have here. Those are the kind of elvish type people, like druids and that sort of thing. Um, then there's these over here. These are Bretts. These guys are the Herodolan Questers. Yep. Um, they're basically medieval knight types. They're tanks. They're awesome. Um, you have like your your leader unit here. This guy's kind of a warlock type character. Um, various knights and then kind of your militia type troops in the back. Um, these guys are a lot of fun. Um, I've enjoyed playing with them. A lot, a lot uh, more heavy armor as opposed to the Black Rose Bandits, which are kind of, you know. Shoot and scoot kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, you gotta get out of the way. You can't just charge in, which I've made that mistake too many times with Brent's guys. He yeah. slaughtered me because I just charged him. He does have a really good archer. Oh, yeah. yeah an amazing awesome. archer. And last but not least, obviously these aren't painted yet. We haven't quite gotten there yet. Apologize for that. But these are the Grular. Um, in the, the book, they actually have a, a, a kind of a, a different hue to their skin. Yeah, it's, it's like a greenish, grayish, pale skin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. What's also cool about these guys is so far they have the only mounted unit in the game and yeah. these guys are pretty intense. They can move super fast, really far, and uh, you can do a lot of fun stuff. Yep. And now it's also important to note that these are actually on... Secret weapon bases. Yep, the secret um, weapon skull bases. Skull bases. Uh, these will look really, really nice when they're painted up. Um, so yeah, those are the, these are the three factions we have currently, plus the fourth, the, uh, yep. the trillions that we don't have yet. Yeah, and actually both of these... This set here, if you take this guy out, this is a starter box. That's all you need to play a game. Yep. And then yeah. he's added in here. He's the, the archer there that Brett was referring to. And Brett has some additional guys over here. Yeah, actually, well, I only so. have one additional guy here. Um, yeah. I believe it's uh, this knight here. So that's the starter box there. Um, and then over here, the starter box actually, if we remove this character and this character, that there is the starter box. And really, the starter box is all you need to play a game. And all of the starter boxes are exactly even in their point scheme, which they actually use a gold value. 150 gold is in every one of their starter boxes, yeah. so you're ready to go. It's really cool. All right, so let's talk about some other things that we, you, you need or are required for playing free weights. All right, the very first thing you need is dice. It does not use a standard dice system. D4, D6, <laughs> D8, D10, 
D12, D14, D16, D20, D24, and a D30. <laughs> look, look, look at all those advance, dice. That is so cool. <laughs> as your characters advance, like we talked about, they, they learn and grow and, and get better at things. So they, they might start off with a D4 for damage, but it can be upgraded to a D6. Um, one of their abilities might be a D8, but he can upgrade it to a D10 and D12 and so on, the more experience they get. So you, you feel really invested with the unit and you don't want them to die. Because if they die, then guess what? You go back to that D4 or D6 or whatever it was. <laughs> so the other thing that uh, DGS has provided here is these awesome tokens in the game. You have charge and panic tokens. You have power tokens. These power tokens here are used for your magic casters. You start off with uh, 15 power at the beginning of the game. And then as you cast spells, that is taken out. Each spell costs a certain amount of power. And you don't regenerate that at any time during the game. But once the game is over and you start another one, then you would regenerate. So basically, that. once you use it, you lose it for that game. Exactly. Awesome. Um, they got little wound counters here, a delay marker, so you could do a, like a delayed action. They got three objective markers. You got a bunch of loot counters here. Five here, two, three, four, five, oh, six loot counters. Uh, fate and destiny stones. Now, in the game, it's it's kind of cool. If you do a crit by so much, you can get what's called a fate stone. The fate stone will let that model later in the game do a reroll on something. Now, if you happen to do it again, you get a destiny stone. The destiny stone can be used on anyone in the entire free band. And it also carries over to your next game. Too. And it carries over to the next game. So, don't want to get into a lot of rules and stuff, but this game is amazing. It's great. It's really cheap and easy to get into, and the models are amazing. Yeah. So, as you can see, we do have our BTP tape measure here. Which you can purchase. Which, of course, you know you can purchase. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> and you can have any of this done by us. We already have our spreadsheet set up. Um, we're already all familiar with this game, so we can help you out. If you're interested in playing, send us an email. We'll get you set up with a, a free band. You know, tell us what your play style is, and we'll be able to help you out there, too. So. And also, um, we should be able to have some bat reps put up soon um, of us actually playing some games and give you an idea of how it's played. And um, really, like, the games that we've played have only ever lasted... 45 minutes half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Um, they're relatively fast, and uh, it is a lot of fun. And in our defense, we actually have done two bat reps, but the videos got corrupted. So Unfortunately, we couldn't get them put up. So we didn't get them put up. I apologize, but we're going to start here, and then next we're going to do our little how-to video, and then we'll go into a full-blown bat rep after that. So awesome. Stay tuned.